vitamin C. High dose vitamin C therapy proven effective. January 5, 2010. The medical literature has virtually ignored 75 years of physician reports and laboratory and clinical studies on successful high dose vitamin C therapy. Effective doses are high doses. Often mandated dietary allowance RDA or daily reference intake DRI. It is a co uh, cornerstone of medical science that those affects treatment outcomes. This premise is accepted with pharmaceutical drug therapy but not with vitamin therapy. Most unsuccessful vitamin C research has used inadequate low doses. Low doses do not get clinical results. Investigators using vitamin C in high doses have consistently reported excellent results. High doses were advocated almost immediately after ascorbic acid was isolated by Albert Saint Giorgi, medic, 1893-1986. Notable early medical pioneers of high dose vitamin C ascorbate therapy are Klaus Washington Jungelblut, medic, William J. McCormick and Frederick R. Klanner. More recently, important work has been published by Hugh D. Riordan and Robert F. Ketchcart. It was 75 years ago today. Dr. Jungelblut, professor of bacteriology at Columbia University, first published on vitamin C as prevention and treatment for polio in 1935. Also in 1935, Jungelblut showed that vitamin C inactivated diphtheria toxin. By 1937, Jungelblut demonstrated that ascorbate inactivated tetanus toxin. Between 1943 and, and 1947, Dr. Klenner, a specialist in disease of the chest, cured 41 cases of viral pneumonia with, with vitamin C. By 1946, Dr. McCormick showed how vitamin C prevents and also cures kidney stones. By 1957, how it fights a cardiovascular disease. Beginning in the 1960s, Dr. Catcart used uh, large doses of vitamin C to treat pneumonia, hepatitis and eventually AIDS. For more than three decades, beginning in uh, uh, 1975, Dr. Riordan and his team have successfully used large doses of intravenous vitamin C against cancer. The use of doses of tens of thousands of milligrams of vitamin C per day may be the most acknowledged successful research in medicine. Heard this one before, if vitamin C was the good, doctors would tell their patients to take a lot of it. It is surprising how many physicians have done precisely that. What's uh, that your doctor still doesn't? Why decades of physicians reports and and control studies support the use of very large doses of vitamins.